In this video, we're going to be talking about using MIGX on the Gel Studios websites that we create. MIGX stands for Multi Items Grid TV for ModX, but we prefer to call it Gridular Content. The reason why we use MIGX on all of our websites is that it allows us to build rich user interfaces, allowing you, the end user, to be able to quickly manage and update content. MIGX allows us to create multiple versions of the same structure. To demonstrate this, I've made a very simple demo. The structure is simply an image and a title. I've made it so that this renders out to the front end of the site in a simple list. Using the MIGX interface, we can click, quickly click Add Item to add a new item. In this example, we'll select an image and fill in the title field. If we now save and view, we can see that this gets rendered to the front end. We can also duplicate for speed. Duplicating will copy all of the data, even so much as remembering the file path for images. We also have the option to remove. By simply right clicking and selecting remove, we can remove the item from the list. Remember however, that all of this updates when you press save in the top right. Another handy feature is the ability to reorder things. Simply by clicking, dragging and dropping to where you wish for the thing to appear, it will reorder it. This is a very simple example. Let's show you another. In this example, we've used this example of comic book brands. Our structure in this instance is the name, a description, and then inside of it, another MIGX template variable. In this instance, two heroes. This is rendered to the front end like this. Now much like what we had with our simple example, these things appear here also. So we can simply click and drag to change the order of not only the parent element, but also the items that exist inside of it. We can then also add more. Always remember to press the save in the top right to see your changes reflected on the front end.